You know the vibe. You know the vibe. Hey, what is up, guys? It is a brand new day today out here in New York City. So I'm sure you guys heard about the Jake Paul vs. Ben Askren fight. It's gonna be a crazy fight. It's happening in about a week and a half. So I'm pulling up to Saddam's gym today, and I'm about to ask everybody in the gym about their predictions about who's gonna win. Ben Askren versus Jake Paul. So this is going to the gym and see what everybody thinks, man. Let's go. If you guys want to see me do more videos like this, smash the like button, man, and show some love in the comments, man. Here we are at the Saddam Ali Dungeon. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Alright guys, another day in the office. I'm over here with Adam Salim's Oh shit! Oh! oh shit. Yo, Yo Shem, what you doing, fam? What you yeah, doing, my guy? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, my guy is still trying to frame Slim, don't keep the gym clean, man. You don't keep the gym clean. So, we are here today to discuss a very big topic in the what boxing world saying? right now. This is not an office. This is a damn gym. Hey. 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 It's another day in the gym. Hey. Not the office. It's all that we put in the work. We put in the work, so it's the office. You know what I'm saying? So, that was a gym, a barber shop. You know what I'm saying? The chill spot. <laughs> so, we are here today to discuss a very big boxing topic. And I'm starting off with Adam because it's a YouTube versus MMA thing in boxing. Which is kind of weird. I don't yeah. know, man. It's, it's crazy. We got Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. Ooh, what's your thoughts? What's my thoughts? Damn, damn, that's, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, honestly, yo, believe it or not, like I, I know a lot of people saying Jake Paul is gonna knock him out, whatever. But I think Ben Askren is gonna win because he, he just he got a chin. You know, Nate Robinson, hey. he's never gotten hit in the face. That's why he got down real quick. But Ben Askren, he could take them hits, and he's gotten hey. hits from from world class athletes. You know. Yeah. yeah so yeah, what yeah. would Jake Paul's punch do to him? So I, I know, but at the same time. This is boxing. This is boxing. Okay. This is boxing. And don't forget, yeah, this is boxing. We've never seen Jake go past two, three rounds. This is an eight-round boxing fight, and but Jake Paul is bigger than him in weight class too, bro. Ben Askren yeah, bro, takes it. Ben Askren is, is metal, bro. He's literally, oh. and it's not. This is not. Yeah, exactly. This is boxing, so he's not gonna knee him like what Jorge Masvidal. But the did. thing is, he's still learning boxing. Man, he's a world-class athlete. He's an Olympian. So you got he's Ben Askren. Gonna, I got Ben Askren. I, I, I think. I think Ben Askren round six. Ben Askren round six. Hey! I think Ben Askren round six. That was not, that was not the prediction I was actually like expecting, but yo. Ben Askren is, is a real, is, is a real, real fighter who's gonna, who's gonna like, he, he could, I don't know, he just got stamina. And Jake just, I don't think Jake is gonna last. That's the only, that's the only, the only way I see Ben Askren winning this is if he actually out conditions Jake. But I'm telling you, he but will, thing bro. Is, when it comes to boxing, you gotta move your head. And it takes you a long time to learn that shit. So if he takes one punch from Jake, I think he's done. All right. All right. That's, that's your opinion. That's what I said. You want to put money up? You want to put money up? Hey, we put money up. How much you want to put? Huh? Let's put up a bag. I right, just put up a bag, yo. Hey. One thousand. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all heard it here. Shut up. All right, guys. We got the five-time Golden Glove champion, Sherman, in the building, man. So yo, I want to ask you a question. All right. So like, I don't know. I know you're you're most you're more into boxing, but this is. MMA fighter named Ben Asker. He's fighting a YouTuber, Jake Paul. I just want to know your thoughts. What do you think is going to happen? Listen, I think that's going to be a good fight. Um, I will go with Jake Paul. Oh. I will go with Ooh. Jake Paul because of the fact that he's been boxing a long time. He's dealing with a lot of legit people that I know, like a person like Jay, Jay Leon Love. He's getting a lot of work from everywhere. So they know how to work. They know what it is to get ready for a fight. They're going to put him through it. So with MMA... I worked with a couple of MMA fighters. They're really good. They're strong physically. Yeah. And the thing is, this is not, you know what I'm saying? This is not wrestling. It's a striking not man. MMA. It's, yeah. it's just straight hands. So he's focusing on hands. This guy, Ben, he's, he does MMA, so they work on grappling, the punches. They don't focus on that too much because it's more about grappling with MMA. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you get your arms broken. You got to know how to get out of certain submission if you get choked out. So how long has he been doing boxing for? That's the thing. Bro, he just started. That's the thing. He just started. And then he probably learned, he probably did boxing here and there just to tune up his hands. But I don't think he's ready for Jake Paul because he hasn't been boxing a but long time. But he was time. with Freddie Roach, though. That's with... okay. That's fine. But I, I think that's okay. That's fine. But is he getting sparring from legit boxers? I'm hearing rumors that Jake... Not rumors. I'm hearing... I'm hearing from the man Jay Leon himself, one of his trainers, that he's getting real work and really, really sparring and, and putting people out. So Dang. I think I think 
if Jake Paul don't put him out, it's gonna it's gonna be a decision, but it's gonna be like a, a good fight, something like a um, like a McGregor and Floyd. But Jake Paul is not Floyd, so you know. <laughs> so he's not did, Floyd. Are you expecting a knockout or not? Um, not really. Um, if wait, if he doesn't move his head, Jake got that power to put yeah. him to sleep. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm expecting a decision. Hey, that's not, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm, I'm, I, I'm sp I, I really don't think this is gonna be a decision or anything, but you know what? That's a good opinion. That's actually a unique opinion. Appreciate you, Sean. Uh, I got that. Oh, God, Sean. You know what? All right. All right, guys, we out here right now with the world kid Ali, former world champ in the building, man. Throwing like a butterfly, singing like a bee. You know, <laughs> you know what it is? I love asking like real fighters, man, their opinion about this kind of fight because it's an interesting fight. You know, it's not like the legit boxers or anything. We got the fight. I don't know if you heard about it, uh, Saddam. It's it's uh, Ben Askren versus Jake Paul. Yes. So, what do you think? I just want to think what your opinion is. I'm be honest, I don't know too much about Ben Askren. Um, is he the one that got knees? Yeah, he's the one that got knees in five seconds. Mad quick. Like, yeah, five seconds. Yeah, he's, so, a, he's a wrestler. He's like, he's so, like, so yeah, wrestler. I couldn't even really get to see how his combat was, but I'm sure I heard it's not great. Yeah. So, uh, honestly, I, I see uh, Jake Paul just like... Damn. Probably stopping him in like seven, eight rounds. Damn. If not before. I can see it happening. Really? Definitely. Definitely. Boxing and UFC is two completely different things, man. Unless there are some UFC guys that have some boxing experience that yeah. are nice with the hands. But from what I heard, well, Ben Askren is not one of those guys. That's so, the, like, that's he's going to have trouble. It's going to be easy work, and that's why Jake picked him. And he's also working with Jay Leon Love. Jay Leon Love is also a, a former world champ, a oh, world boxer, as myself. So we know what we're doing. Yeah. So we, when we're working with these influencers, Oh, you know it's going down. Damn, bro, that's crazy. So, what do you think about the transition though from like MMA to like Ben Askren to like boxing? Like, as someone who's just started boxing for the first time, like, like, do you think he has any chance, slight chance, like, of being some? Oh, uh, my advice, honestly, would be is if you're gonna do it, make sure to do it with somebody that's 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 not that great. You know, yeah. I, I don't think he should have did it against somebody, even though it was Nate Robinson, but. Like somebody that put somebody out like that. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you should like if you're gonna do it for the first time, you should probably like get some experience first before you decide on jumping into yeah. like a big fight. Well, yo, that's what makes this fight so interesting, man. Honestly, I'm actually gonna be streaming this fight April 17th, man. So make sure y'all stay tuned, man. We got we had Saddam's opinion, we had Shem's opinion, we had we had Adam's opinion, we gotta get Rhino's opinion. I'm gonna see what Rhino thinks. <laughs> We out here right now. We got Rhino and Ali in the building. What's going What's on? What's the word? Yeah. Slim, my oh my God. My guys, they know, they know their boxing stuff. They know their boxing right. stuff. So cool. I, I want to know what their opinion is as well, man. So you guys heard of the Jake Paul versus Ben Askren fight? Oh, yeah. Jake Paul? <laughs> Look, I heard, about, <laughs> I heard about that fight, man. I saw, no. So what's your opinion? It's, it's happening in a week and a half. Jake Paul knocking him out first round overhand right. Boom. Really? You think so? Yeah, Ben Askren. He, got, he just started training eight weeks ago. I mean, Ben Askren, like, that yeah. dude's a tough dude, man. Ben Askren's a tough dude. Jake Paul, I see Jake Paul in the gym, you know, he's doing his thing, he's training and all that. I heard he got some good dudes behind Whoa. him. Yeah. Jake Paul is a bully, but the bully gon' bully the bully. Oh yeah, <laughs> nah, nah, you see, I wasn't even gonna go there, but honestly, like, I'm looking forward to fighting people like Jake Paul. Oh! You feel me? How would you knock him out? How'd you knock you know him out? I mean, I would knock him out with a body shot. <laughs> I'm saying? I wouldn't even work too hard. I'm not it even gonna work too hard. hard. Yo, but honestly, yo, Jake Paul, you the man, you doing your thing, you getting to the money, I respect it. Don't disrespect the, the the boxing culture. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's a fact. You, me? you can't do that. Is they gonna send the young dogs like me to finish you up? Oh, oh wow. so we wait, just wait. gonna keep it at that. You heard? Yo, yo, <laughs> uh, 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 let's go. <laughs> hey, yo, don't get it twisted. Don't think I'm a barber. And, and you know what I mean, these hands don't work. I'm saying, no, 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 the hands do work though. I, 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 so who's gonna win? So who's gonna win? Jake? Oh, so yo, who's gonna win? win? Honestly. Damn, son. Yes, I really not. think Jake Paul's gonna run out of breath, man. I hope he's running. I really think... Nah, it's hard, man. I'm gonna Damn. toss it up in the air. With me, I'm a, I just wanna see the fight. I'm gonna leave it at that. Because I know MMA is very different from boxing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so that's we that's just gonna leave it at that. That's I'm true, gonna say Jake Paul's Paul. not an official boxer. Yeah, and you no. know Jake Paul. You see how that nigga musk your face? That shows you, like, bro, you nothing to him. But at the same time... Uh, yeah, with, with the rules involved uh -huh. in boxing, yeah, you know things could could be in your favor or his favor, in uh -huh. your favor because you're a boxer. But as far <laughs> as as far as Ben Askren, I really can't tell you, man. I, I hope he got the boxing skills too. But I'm just waiting for the fight, man. 
And I gotta say, Dana's wife is crazy for saying he'll bet a million dollars. Yeah. For he's bought. He's bought for that. He's cap. Yeah. He's bought for that. I think he's not. He's just selling the fight. Yeah. He's just selling the fight. But what do you think when Jake Paul like disrespects like boxing culture, like as official fighters, like you guys who put in the work, he's as amateurs, like a and all that stuff. If you if you count his weight, right? Like yeah, yeah, he's like a crucible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what he says to disrespect? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, I think he says something. He's, he's, he's a, probably gonna be the. Uh, I don't know, but I know he dissed Canelo. He said something. No, about he compared Canelo. boxing he to YouTube, and I think he said something about. Uh, YouTubers oh, is, is, is harder is than harder it's harder to be a YouTuber than, than to be a boxer. Yeah. Nah, wow, that's like bullshit. That. Nah, that be. boxing is different, bro. As well, well guys, you know what? You can say that. Maybe he feels like, because I'm sure it could be hard when it gets to editing and having to po make sure something is being posted every day. or Like, you have to be popping on YouTube and you got to stay on it, right? So, yes, it's very hard. Some people think it's easy. Oh, just upload videos and hey, you're going to get rich now. So, I understand that side. But as a boxer, I don't think he really understands when you go up against somebody that's as good as you. Ooh, he hasn't yeah. had that yet. Yeah. I feel like now, that's, that's when he thing. sees that, when he gets that and he sees that, he's gonna know what it feels like. Damn. You know? I think he needs the opportunity to elaborate on that on that on that comment he made. Because I'm not sure if he really understood what he he's said. He's not gonna get it. He's, <laughs> got, he's got money. He's got money to pick his fights, right? And what they do is when you have money, you have big backings. So all you gotta do is fall back, let the big back and people talk. He'd be like, yeah, I wanna fight everyone, but it's my matchmakers that's setting up the fights. So you're just throwing on people, but he's not really gonna fight a big top dog in the, in the professional. No, that's that's cool. See, that's the thing. No, I don't even mean a big top dog. Yeah. I just mean somebody that's like a decent. B plus fighter. Yeah, like a B, you know? Somebody that's decent. You know? That's, you know? that's, the, that's the thing. You gotta see, it's not, it's not as easy as you yeah. thought. Everybody he got, though, like, it was, it was perfectly <laughs> picked, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the Nate Box, Nate Box never boxed before, he's an NBA player. And then now he got Ben Askin who, who sucks at striking. You know what I mean? After this Ben Askin fight, if he beats Ben Askin, bro, he might fight Mayweather, bro. Imagine that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he might actually fight Mayweather. He does better than his brother, I imagine. You know, like, Definitely. bro, he probably will, but like, it's Mayweather, though. Yeah, it's like, old man, tip up. That's a money fight. That, that right there would just be a money fight. Don't yeah, do it, man. don't do it, right? Don't listen, don't listen, do it. Don't to wrap it up. Don't do it. It's over? Yeah. Oh, oh, and oh, Jake Paul gotta go. Ah! Yeah!